Or you'll push it farther away to get slower. Yeah, it's really slow. And there is a limit. Like, you can't push it too far back, because that would just be way too slow. And you can't push it too far close, because that would be way too fast. So basically, here's what it can do. I said that should be our intro. No, just kidding. Anyway, so if you want to, like in After Effects, you want to slow down a certain part, you'll have to take the beginning, like let's say, uh, giveaways. Let's go to where it pauses it. We're going to press S to split the kit clip. And wait till it flies out. Whatever, that's good. And then, you know, just make some room, take it, and then you just do the same. You hold down control and drag it in, or drag it close. And, I don't know, I think, I mean, After Effects holds way more potential than Sony Vegas, obviously. But I just think it's a little simpler, a little easier to manage. But After Effects does have more than just time remapping, I think, pretty sure. So yeah, now, Windows Movie Maker. So to sh so to explain what I was talking about earlier, hold on. Let's find the let's find this. So in After Effects, you saw there was a little more advanced with keyframing and stuff, and you had to pull up like, and there was tons of options. There was like pick whipping and all that stuff. And then Sony Vegas it got a little more downgraded. Not downgraded, but you know, it was a little less. You could just get get it faster, get it slower. And now the simplest of all. Um. We'll go to uh oh my god. Okay. Wow. No movie maker. Let's just drag in this clip. I think this is a review of something I did. Yep, this is my Alias 2 review. Let's just drag it in. I'm going to cut this for time's sake. Now, if people are probably going to ask, this is kind of about editing softwares. So you'll have Windows Movie Maker at the bottom. Then you will have uh, then you'll have iMovie above that. Then you will have the lower Sony Vegas models. You'll have Final Cut Express. Okay, so there's Final Cut. I'm not too sure what it is, but it's the lowest version of Final Cut. Sony Vegas Pro and Adobe Premiere Elements. Those are all pretty much the same level. I think Premiere Elements, I don't know. But basically, Final Cut may be a little more advanced than the Sony Vegas. But basically, it's that. Then, Final Cut Pro, or whatever the advanced version is. Then you'll have Adobe Premiere, Adobe Premiere, CS4, CS3. And then you'll have After Effects, which is mainly just effects and not really video editing. So, and then there's stuff like Avid and all those things that nobody actually has. So your best bet, if you wanted the most advanced, would be uh, Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere Pro, excuse me, that's what I meant to say, Adobe Premiere Pro, or if you want something simple, I'd say iMovie, or a low version of Final Cut, a low version of Sony Vegas, or Adobe Premiere Elements. Adobe Premiere Elements is great for beginners. Yeah. So here's uh, Windows Movie Maker. You go to up here, you go to Effects tab, and you have limited amount. Basically, you want to look for the slow down half, speed up double. You've got slow down half, and that's all you got. That's all you can really do. You can slow it down half. You can drag it in again. You can slow it down a quarter, and you can. Oh, you can do more than that. So let's see. So you can do it up to. Ooh. You actually can do it several times. So this can. It, this will. Slow it down a lot. Let's see. Yeah, it's really slow. 
but it's not as precise as Sony Vegas or After Effects. This might actually get you a slower effect, but you can't really uh, determine the exact speed or the length. Like in After Effects or Sony Vegas, uh, you can like set a determined length. Like if you have um, like a video that's 10 minutes long and you don't want to trim out anything, you just want to speed it up and you don't know how much, there's a like preset that you right click or whatever and you type in the time of 10 minutes and it'll, or 9 minutes and it'll narrow it down to that. So instead of me rambling, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, type it, uh, put it in the comments. And thanks a lot, guys.